All right. Kenman here. And today, what have we here? This bag contains a thing of beauty. As you know, or if you're not aware, I just hit 2,000 subs. Uh, thank you all very much. Amazing times. <laughs> I'm actually at like 2,070. I've gained like 70 in the last day and a half uh, since I hit 2,000. And it's great. We're having a blast. Uh, very appreciative of everyone. Uh, Going to continue to make some excellent content. I hope that everyone enjoys it. Giveaway will be happening very soon, probably tomorrow. Um, this is your last chance if you want to enter. If you're not aware, you can go to that link right there. Basically, go to that video. Uh, it's the main video on my page. Uh, just have to like the video, be a subscriber to the channel, and then leave a comment with the word 2000 in it, and you'll be entered. And then I'll be having that drawing with the two knife giveaway for 2K happening very, very soon. So if you want to get in on that, you better do it now if you're watching this in the present that this was made. <laughs> anyway, when I hit 2K, I was immediately like, treat yourself. And I did. And here it is. What did Kenman order to treat himself? Hmm. Guesses? Thoughts? Let's find out. Before we start... Not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives, collecting this bag, and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Okay, shall we? Who is excited? What is it gonna be? It's a Kaiser bag on the floor. Another Kaiser. If you are familiar with the channel, I have purchased several Kaisers as of lately. Um, because I'm not sponsored, I kind of pick and choose what I'm interested in and then I get something. If that company is now given me, so I've bought something from them and I like it and it excites me and I enjoy it and it's a quality product, then I will continue to give that uh, company some looks and potentially buy more things from them. Kaiser has been great. I had a little issue with the, my Bugai, but I had it had a detent problem. I sent it back. They gave me another one. The new one is fantastic. Other than that, Kaiser's been just awesome. Really like them. Buying more. Been uh, eyeing this one for a little while. And uh, I want to send a special shout out to Matt is King. Uh, he and I talked about this knife a bit. He has one and basically let me know what he thought about it and stuff. And I respect his opinion on it and i'm excited about it and i had to get one for myself and here it is and thank you matt is king okay nice little sticker Ooh, this is a new one the drop bear kaiser they make some fun stickers i like to have those interesting uh little themes and stuff to them okay so yeah if you haven't seen the kaiser you get a nice cloth. You get some interesting imagery. They got some cool photos and stuff. A little info card. All right. Okay, let's get that stuff out of the way. Can you see it through the reflections? You know what it is. They came, wow, an extra. Oh, see that? It looks like a pivot. This is the, for the lefty side clip. They have a little cap for the clip. We'll get to it, and boom, they give us an extra clip for that. That's great. Okay, let's get in. Oh, yes, look at this thing. Fantastic. Mini bag on the floor. Ooh, look at that ripple pattern. All right, well, what are we looking at, Kenman? This is the Kaiser Dogfish. Ooh. Yeah, I'm excited. Boom. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. The Kaiser dogfish. Dogfish is kind of named after like a dogfish shark. It's got kind of that streamlined kind of shark-like quality to it, right? Ooh, look at that little thumb spot with the jimps. Excellent. See that little button right there? Oh, got a button lock. Flicks out. Button it out. This is an aluminum handle with that ripple pattern. Very cool. So the pocket clip can be swapped, but you can see how it's got kind of a shape to it. So this little notch piece is going to come out. I'm going to set it aside, and then that other notch piece will go in where the clip is, and then the clip will go to the other side. So it is lefty friendly, which is cool. And then I like the way that that, that cap covers that. It just kind of continues with the ripple design, kind of just blends it in. Very clean. Look at that. You know why it doesn't... I was like, well, usually Kaiser comes with screws, too. It's literally got that piece for the lefty and one screw. Like, well, missing the screws? Nope. There is only one screw. Got your pivot, pivot. Is that not a captive pivot? Kaiser. I bet you one of those has a little detent or D-line on it or something like that. The fact this, this knife, not a captive pivot. Come on. Okay, let's have some fun here. Flicks out great. Button. Pretty loose. Yep, need to break it in a little bit. That's fine. Seems all right so far. Okay, what else do we have on here? So it looks like it might be a front flipper and a rear flipper. All right, try the front. Okay, front flipper works. Button it close. Let's try this rear. Oh, wow, look at that. That is neat. Look at how clean and squared off that is on both sides. Very even, kind of does not stick out. It's not like a tab that's pushed out. Just has this little recessed area. Let's do some close-ups. What's everyone think about this? Kaiser Dogfish. Yes. This is, I'm going to be carrying this. I dig this. Okay. So, yeah. Those do not stick out, and that little flipper tab, boom, close it. That's great, front flipper. Oops, little uh, dip, dip front flippers are always a little bit more difficult, especially I find myself personally, the way I grab a knife to do a front flipper, um, see like with the right hand, see how I grab it like here, and then I, I kind of tuck my fingers up against the pocket clip. And it kind of allows you to grab it. <laughs> and I still fail it. I grab that a little bit better for doing that front flip action. And so since I haven't swapped this to the other side yet, I can't grab it like that. So it feels a little more awkward to hold it as a lefty. Once I swap that clip though, it's going to feel great. I'm excited about this knife. This seems like one that I'm going to really enjoy carrying and using. Ah, okay. Uh, not bad. I'm not complaining. Front flippers are always a little bit harder. Some people struggle with them a little bit more. I'm one of those. It's, it's completely normal. Um, I am generally going to want to do that. So if I can flick it out. It's crazy how that, it actually seems like you don't have some good access to that, the hole to get in there. It feels like you're kind of reaching in there a little bit more than you want to. But at the same time, I'm not trying to reach in there very hard, and it still flicks out. How did that? See that? That was weird. It still flicks out pretty much good. I must have been holding my finger against the button. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of sorry I'm all over the place here trying to focus. I really like this knife. I'm excited. Uh, that ripple is nice. Good texture. It feels good on that aluminum. It does have a little choke-up spot, so I could kind of... Move up to there. If you look, there is a little that way. That's the way. You can see that little finger groove, that finger choil. So like normal hand hold in there, and you can kind of choke up into that spot. 
Ooh. This is a nice, you know, for a slightly smaller than what I would usually say I love. Um, I like all knives. I mean, come on. This one's a little bit smaller, but the uh, action of it, the uh, design of these right here, I'm excited about this one. This is very cool. Wow. It almost is like gray. I thought it was like black on black, kind of a grayish green. I don't mind it at all. I'm actually really fond of it. Looks great. Okay. Um, blade centering. We are dead center as it should be and it is solid I got a little bit right there but that's completely fine a little oil in there I think this is gonna break in really really nice so we got some jimps these jimps ride all the way to that little kind of harpoon kind of spot right there I like that you can kind of Rest your thumb right in there. I feel like when you're holding a regular grip or even choking up on it, putting your thumb in that spot, it just wants to just sit in there. Be happy. Uh. So the button is going to be what the detent is on it. There's no detent ball on a button lock, but it's going to be the way the button, if you watch this button, when I close it, it kind of goes pop, right? So it's that button, the way that it's, designed with the blade if I pull you can see there's a little bit of a stick kind of holding it in it's a little bit harder to do with a button lock so boom when a company does it well that's great I have some where it's like you can just uh, on this one I almost can't do it that's good like there's some where you can kind of just grab it and you're just kind of doing this with the blade because it doesn't really want to get stuck in there here you felt that clicked in and so it's like when you get that pressure on there it holds and retains a little pressure and then breaks and that's the satisfying flick out that's fantastic thumb it oh yeah oops missed that one it is a small flipper for the rear but it works uh, I'm gonna flip that, that clip over pretty quick here all right next we are going to do some measurements here. Maybe back that out just a little. Okay. So, total length on this Kaiser Dogfish. It's trying to be seven and a half, but it's closer to seven and a quarter. Just a little bit longer than seven and a quarter. Um, we're looking at a three inch cutting surface, maybe a three close to three and a quarter inch blade and a four and a quarter inch handle not bad close a little less than a half inch thickness and sixteenth of or an eighth almost an eighth on your I know those are weak measurements for from the side but that's fine we're getting an idea if you want to know exact you can look it up on the on the page man this is a cool knife okay let's get some uh, weight do you guys think about my Kenman Dan Kenman logo just as a nice little sticker I don't know I'm just doing it for fun okay wait oops maybe put it in a spot where we can see it 3.37 3.37 ounces Someone else wanted it in grams. 95.8. 95.8 grams, 3.37, almost 3.38 ounces. For an example, pyrite is 3.6, 3.3. So it's a little bit lighter than the pyrite. Not too heavy, not super light. Right in the middle there. Okay, so let's do those comparisons. Here's my pyrite. I always use a pyrite. Pyrite is one of the most common knives if you're not aware of it. CJRB pyrite, they have a lot of versions, a lot of styles. Great knife. Works awesome. Good button lock. Good flip out. Very good uh, comparison knife uh, for this Kaiser 
since they both have the hole and they're both button locks. Handle is just about the same size, blade is about the same size. Um, because of the blade shape, the pyrite's a little bit shorter, um, but ultimately the the size between these two is very similar. So if you're, you got yourself a pyrite, then you know about what you're looking at here. We're gonna back out a little bit there. So there's that. Here's some more Kaisers that I have. This is the Kaiser LP. Look at the action on this. Right, fantastic. I did the die job for that. I also did the die job for the Kaiser Amicus. This is another Kaiser button lock that just works fantastic. I'm assuming that the dogfish will break in and work just like this. Love it. Those two, like I said, I did the die job on them. And now we'll move into our green micarta, Kaiser green micarta. This also is an amazing button lock. This is the Lieb, right? This is a worker. This thing here is beefy, it feels great. I'm gonna be using this to do some work on a regular basis. I love it, it's great. Okay, here is that Kaiser Bugai I was talking about. Also really good action on that. Just drop, shutty, flicks out nice. This has got a neat shape, just an interesting design with that blade and that excellent drop action. I've been getting from the Kaisers. Really like them. Of course. Oh, geez. <laughs> the Beast. This is the Kaiser Mini Paragon. Ha! Come on, this hog. Who doesn't want a stupid knife like this? I love it. It's just... Ugh. <laughs> Look at the blade, stupid. Okay. These are my Kaisers. I did have a Kaiser original, which is also a great button lock. I did a cool laser mark on it, but uh, someone really wanted it, so I sold it to them. So it's gone. Might get another one. Really do like the Kaisers. Continue to look at them and get some more in the future. Um, what Kaiser should I look at next? The Drop Bear? Anyone? Thoughts? I appreciate everyone's comments. Um, don't forget to enter the... Uh, giveaway which will be happening if you don't enter pretty much the second you see this which is within a day of me making this video then you're going to miss out but uh, there will be more in the future don't worry more unboxings more dies laser marks going to get in that scrimshaw really soon wow this was a fun unboxing i'm excited to be carrying this knife i gotta get that pocket clip flipped right away oh who loves this knife as much as i do already Kaiser Dogfish. I think I said everything there is to say about it. Oh, there's a little Dogfish logo there, the Kaiser there. Doesn't stick out too much, so that doesn't bother me all that much. I really love the way this knife looks. Very excited. That is it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more. Helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. See you soon.